Dad, it's imperative that I score. It's in the title of the show. He shoots, he scores. Not he shoots, it gets blocked. Seems like that's your problem, Dave. <laughs> You're trying to make me throw a hockey game. What kind of integrity do you think I have? Uh, well. Okay, Dave. Wrist shot, upper left. I hear you, Ron. Let's try it. Over the net! Over the net! Over the net! Too bad, Dave. Too bad. Welcome back to Rational Funk, a drum instruction and life instruction series. Um, we, we will typically focus on some drum concepts, some, you know, uh, conceptual thinking, um, ways to be able to get the gig, ways to be able to um, express yourself with the instrument, but we do talk about ways to bring uh, your creative experience you know, to other areas of your life or vice versa, bring some sort of um, aspect of your daily existence into the art. So instead of it being like, I'm playing the drums now, so I focus my, man my mind this way, instead I leave my mind open to other aspects that will find their way into my ideas. One of the things that Joe and I talk about routinely, which might come as a shock to a lot of people that like this show, is the, the connection and the, um, the, well, let's say the unbreakable chain, the connection to your childlike self. So the child, the sense of play, if you will. The whole idea of music is you play music. You play music, right, Joe? You play the drums. The whole thing is a sense of play. It's a sense of, and we associate the sense of play with being young, with being the child. The child loves to play. I've had children myself. And you just like you're, you're sitting there, you're drinking a Schlitz, and it's two o'clock on a Sunday, and you're pretty fucked up, and you're watching golf, and you've got the air conditioner at 60. Okay, it's fucking Minnesota. It's 98 degrees, and it's fucking July. Everybody's like, Minnesota, it's so cold there. I'm like, really, fuck face? Why don't you come here in fucking July, and your face looks like that scene in fucking Raiders of the Lost Ark where that guy fucking grabs the ark and his face melts. You know that scene, Joe? Pretty incredible scene. Pretty shocking to see somebody's face melt like that. Well, you don't need to have your goddamn hand on the Ark of the Covenant. Just come to fucking Minnesota in July. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, I'm 17 schlitzes into a fucking, you know, <laughs> watching the... Watching the bowling championships <laughs> that are being held in Laramie, Wyoming. And <laughs> sure enough, here comes my son. Madden 16. Now he's older now, but this is really like, Daddy, come outside. We're going to play. Uh, you're going to be, okay, okay. Because children are incredible because they're one part insanely psychedelic and one part absolutely sober speaking. So like, okay, there's this alligator. Okay, and he lives in our shed. Okay, now the thing is, is this alligator comes, <laughs> it's like, Deadly serious yet totally like no, there's no no. And then if you if you if you if you did this as a super rational parent, Otis, that's his real name. Okay, fine. His real name's Otis. Otis, um, there is no alligator in our shed. There is no alligator in our shed. What a drag, right? The parent going. There is no, and he's like this. So he would say like, okay, pretend. Okay, listen to me, daddy. Okay, I'm listening, buddy. Hang on, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna pull the car to the side of the road. What do you have to say to me? I'm I'm here. I'm present. I'm looking at my like parent book. You remember when I got that book? I was like, be say that you are listening. Say that you are listening to the child, even though it's completely fucking awful and stupid what they're saying. Daddy, listen to me, okay? Okay, you are a silverback gorilla, okay? And you are upset because someone 
Hmm? And then you don't want to be that parent that goes, silverback gorillas don't get upset. <laughs> You are a silverback gorilla, and you have lightning bolts. You have to make sure, Daddy, silverback gorilla lightning bolts, got it. I'm listening, I'm listening. Oh, it was almost a strike. I'm listening to you, I'm present with you, you're great. Everything you say is great, and everything you do is great. Hmm? Yeah, lightning bolts, got it, no problem. What do you want me to do with them? Okay, so. I'm going to come around this corner, and you can't, you can't, I'm going to be, you can't get me with those lightning bolts. That's the sense of play I'm talking about, okay? Like, you want to be engaged in that world even when you're playing the drums. What do I do? I will routinely sit be by my drums to remind myself the sense of play, and I will break out some of my old toys. Now you're thinking to yourself, this is ridiculous. No, it is not. Trust me. Especially when you have real vintage Star Wars figures like I do. This is Hammerhead from the original Star Wars cantina scene. And I'll be like this. Oh, there's a hole. Are you kidding me? Hammerhead is holding on to the symbol. And then you have Boba Fett. Yes, Dave King has an original Boba Fett. Any nerds out there think they're going to get a handle? On, hold on this. If my house was on fire, Joel... <laughs> And that classic thing, what do you grab? I grab Bobo Fett, my Siamese fighting fish that I have frozen. He died <laughs> six years ago, but I froze him and I keep him in the freezer. His name was Chuck Foreman. And then I go, oh, that classic thing where you're out in the car driving away. Oh, I gotta go grab Otis. <laughs> but like, but like, I've got my figures, okay? And then I have a ro Rowdy Rowdy Piper wrestling doll. Everybody knows me, they know that I love wrestling. He sits uncomfortably here, if you know what I mean. Check, can you see that, Joe? Hey, Roddy, have a, and so I go to my child. Hey, Roddy, have a seat. <laughs> he's sitting on the high. <laughs> have a seat, Roddy, because he's kind of a villain. I always enjoyed making him have a seat like this. Have a seat on top of the hi-hat stand, Peg Roddy. Here's Walrus Man. And he's over here like this. <laughs> He's holding on. Hey! Somebody help me over here! No, this is not Wally. This is the original. What did you call it? What was this guy again, Joe? It's Star Wars, but he had a name like TR72. Rowdy, 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 Riperfell! God, I'm going to incorporate this. Dang. Roddy's getting hit on the stomach. That would really hurt. <laughs> if he was really, uh, if you really got hit in the stomach with a, uh, Daddy, if you hit your, if you hit your, if you hit the, hit somebody in the stomach with a, with a drumstick, it would hurt real bad. And then if there's a lightning bolt, okay. This kind of thing makes me reconnect with the idea of why we do this. The whole idea of why we do this whole thing is because we're like, fuck that, I'm not getting a job. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll do whatever it takes. And by the way, I drove trucks, I tore kitchen floors, I worked in warehouses, I did the whole thing. As soon as, and I wasn't playing with Star Wars figures during that time, I had to focus on my work because when you're driving a truck and you've had 17 schlitzes, you know, and you're delivering children's clothes, you know what I mean? You got to stay awake at the wheel. It's a true story that I had a supervisor with me and I was so tired from the night before from possibly staying up all night practicing. But, uh, and I fell asleep at a stoplight where I was waiting for the things to change and the guy had his clipboard and he was observing me and I actually went like this and I fell asleep. <laughs> it's a true story, Joe. Anyway, now when I'm able to play music, right, I've got to stay in that zone. I've got to be whatever. Here comes this original Stormtrooper. Original, by the way. These are all original. I didn't get them on eBay later to reconnect with my child. I kept them. I kept them. You guys seen... You got, Hey, you, you over there in Rivet Hole 4. We got a guy over here on Rivet Hole 4. He's thinking he's going to make it over here. Vader, what do you want me to do, Lord Vader? 
Rivet Hole 4. There, we've got a, got a Trespass. Uh, I'm going to hold on to this acrylic top of this uh, vintage cymbal stand. I lost the cape, okay? I also lost the lightsaber. I, he probably had a blaster too. Nope, he just had a lightsaber. You have... You have said that... Captain, you... Captain, you will not disappoint me. You will bring the being that is the entity, the, F, the entity that is trapped in Rivet Hole 7 to me. And you will then play up-tempo ride symbol. Yes, Lord Vader.